All right, this is a quick video uh, just to respond to a question I got about using uh, low energy uh, scintillation probes with some other detector, perhaps a Ludlum instead of just a CDV700 or something to that effect. This is the Model 12. The Model 3 is almost identical to it. The Model 12 has some additional voltage capabilities and um, better timing capabilities. So basically, see here's the dial reading in counts per minute. You can have this change to other units if you want. Uh, there is a fast and slow button right here. Let me get that to focus in. Uh, fast mode gives you quicker responses, but they're not quite as accurate. Lower speed, the little turtle, slows it down. It takes longer to respond, but it gives you a more accurate result. The reset button right here reset resets the screen and lets it build back up again. Let's cut the fast on so it goes back up. Uh, high voltage check button, HV, gives you high voltage check in uh, uh, thousands of volts. Uh, you have, oops, times 10, times 100, times, uh, times 1, 10, and 100, and 1,000. On the Model 3, you have uh, 0. Uh, 0. 0.1 or 0. 0.5, I can't remember, I think it's 0. 0.1. Uh, then you have 1, 100, and, uh, 1, 10, and 100, so it's a little bit off, but about the same. Cut the sound on, we'll adjust it to times 100. Uh, currently I have a 1 inch sodium iodide detector connected, it's a model 44-2. As you can see we go near the CZ-137 sample and the reading goes up. When we pull away it goes down. Get rid of the CZ-137 sample for a second. And we go over here towards this tritium sample. Oh crap, everything's falling all over. That's why I don't usually use a telephone to do videos, right? So here we go, tritium sample, put that against it, nothing much happens. Because the x-rays that come off of this are too low to be detected by this unit. So cut it off. Alright, we'll pull this out. This is an RAP47 uh, thin crystal detector. It's a cesium iodide detector, a little tiny thing. I can't remember it, but it's only, uh, how, how thick it is, but it's only a couple centimeters thick. We just detach the big detector. We attach the little detector. Let's get that on there. There we go. I paused it for a second because I was having trouble getting the connector on. This is a connector adapter that allows me to connect this low energy probe. So let's take the plastic cover off the front. Very, very thin aluminum right here. So let's uh, low energy x-rays in. Let's cut the unit back on again. Set it to times 100. Well, let's call it times 10. Give it a second to build up. Now let's see what happens when we put the x the um, X-ray source near it. It detects the X-rays. Something that the lower energy one, I mean the higher energy uh, detector, was not able to do. See? And of course, it still detects the cesium-137 beautifully. In fact, let's go up to times 1,000 and see what we get. Not bad. Oh, and by the way, there's also a battery check. Battery check. So, there you go. You can also get the uh, probe that looks a lot like this. That's called the 44-3. That's also a low energy detector. And that guy right there is an even higher energy detector than in either of those. So, um, that's what I was telling you guys about in the reply. And just for the record, this guy is uh, with, a, with the detector attached to it. Not this one, but the Ludlum detector is like 12, 1300 bucks. So... All right, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and this was a specific reply for a specific person. Bye-bye.